It's time for another Wrestle Planet news update as Kazuchika Okada could be heading to All Elite Wrestling. There was a John Cena Easter egg on AEW television, and a Bray Wyatt horror movie has been confirmed following his WWE release. All that and more coming up in today's video, but first. We go to the deathmatch wrestling scene where there has been a serious injury, with a wrestler having remained in hospital for a number of days. On October 31st of this year, CCW mainstay Matt Tremont would come out of retirement in order to wrestle a match with legendary Japanese icon Atsushi Onita, the inventor of the exploding barbed wire deathmatch. The two men would compete in a match billed as Double Hell Explosion, with Tremont later being admitted to a hospital in New Jersey where he is still being treated in a burns ward and has been there for 11 days at this point. The former CZW World Heavyweight Champion would suffer from burns during the finish of the match, where a barbed wire board would be lit on fire before he was sent into it, setting himself and his clothes on fire. The fire would then be put out after taking another bump. Ironically, the match took place at an event promoted by the H2O promotion in Trenton. There is still no recovery date known at this point, although Tremont is booked for a no ropes barbed wire match against Ricky Shane Page later this month, again for H2O. Last night, AEW held the latest episode of Dynamite, which was the go-home edition ahead of this Saturday's Full Gear pay-per-view. Following Jungle Boy's victory over Anthony Bowens of The Acclaimed, he would be attacked from behind by Bobby Fish, before it was revealed that he was acting on behalf of his former Undisputed Era teammate in NXT, Adam Cole, with the Elite seemingly having a new mercenary. As we discussed in a recent video about potential future members of the Elite, Fish would be a good candidate to join the group given his history with Cole. Whilst it hasn't been confirmed that he has officially joined the stable, the role of the group's hitman seems like a good fit as it adds a layer of seriousness to him as opposed to the elite's usual jokey antics. The segment would set up a match for this Friday on AEW Rampage, where Bobby Fish will take on Jungle Boy in singles action. Next, let's move on to WWE, where there is expected to be a big split in the tag team division. In recent times, the legendary Rey Mysterio has been teaming with his son Dominic, with the father and son duo being former SmackDown tag team champions in the past. According to Andrew Zarian of the Mad Men podcast, the team are set to break up, leading into a feud between the two. Dom has been present in Rey's storylines for over a year at this point, even before they were formed into a team, but recently, the has been some tension between the two. The most likely outcome will see Dom turn on his father, with him having expressed an interest in taking Ray's mask in real life interviews when his dad hangs up his boots. Perhaps the breakup will lead to a match for the Mysterio mask, although this is just speculation at this point. Next up on last night's episode of AEW Dynamite, there were heavy teases that a major New Japan Pro Wrestling star could be heading through the forbidden door to AEW. Rocky Romero would wrestle Brian Danielson, with him passing on an invitation to AEW group best friends to join the Chaos Faction, with this message sent from leader Kazuchika Okada. During the romero Brian bout, Okada would be a topic of discussion, with the commentary team bigging him up as one of the best wrestlers in the world. Not just that, but Tony Schiavone would appear in the event center on AEW's YouTube channel to hype up AEW Full Gear, as well as fellow Chaos member Tomohiro Ishii. Adding fuel to the fire is the fact that Okada is in fact currently in the United States, ahead of New Japan's Battle in the Valley event, although this does take place on the same night as AEW Full Gear. The New Japan show will be in California, whilst Full Gear will be in Minnesota, so it's it's unlikely that he'll be able to make it in time. Whilst this seems to rule out an appearance at the AEW pay-per-view, could we be set to see Okada at AEW Dynamite next week? It will certainly be worth looking out for as teases continue to be made. And if you are planning on watching the pay-per-view this weekend, make sure you do so by using our Fight affiliate link in the description below, where international viewers can watch it for just $19.99. 
This weekend, Eddie Kingston is set for arguably his highest profile match when he takes on the great CM Punk, with the feud being one of the hottest in the company right now despite a mere two weeks build. Kingston would speak to Louis Dangor of Give Me Sport this week to promote AEW Full Gear and discuss last week's Rampage promo which took the rivalry to another level and revealed that there was even a John Cena easter egg. Essentially, the easter egg is that Eddie Kingston is now CM Punk during his feud with Cena in 2011, with Kingston pointing out that Punk looked down on him when they first met on the Indies, a mirror of the relationship between Punk and Cena when Punk arrived in WWE, although Kingston didn't call him the New York Yankees. Despite the on-screen rivalry and past real-life differences, Kingston revealed that he is grateful for Punk's arrival in AEW and said, I couldn't wait for him to come in because I knew he would help the company. I love AEW, I'm a homer. They gave me a shot and I'm not going anywhere. Anything that helps this place grow, I'm all about. Then I was like, it'd be fun, it'd be fun to beat him up a little bit. It was a more recent thing, us working together. I really don't know how it came up because I'm not that guy. I do whatever you tell me, whatever you got. If I don't like it, you'll know. 9 out of 10 times it's Eddie, you're doing this, this is what we need. Kingston would explain that he has the trust of his opponents to speak his mind, with them knowing he won't go into business for himself or bury them, admitting that he doesn't usually run his promos past them beforehand. Eddie has no doubt done his job well, having sold the CM Punk match with basically one promo, with both men being complete pros when it comes to speaking on the mic. Next up, the future of recently released WWE superstar Bray Wyatt becomes a little clearer as this week his next step was revealed and it won't be inside a wrestling ring. As we discussed in a previous news video, Wyatt was spotted at a Warner Brothers studio in Hollywood, California, with reports stating that he was in discussions to appear on the silver screen in the coming years. In an update provided by special effects makeup artist Jason Baker, who worked alongside horror icon Tom Savini to create the Fiend mask for WWE, Wyatt is set to star in an upcoming horror film. Baker would speak to Metro UK about the project and revealed, He's a phenomenal collaborator, he's become a really good friend, and we're actually, you're the first person that we're publicly telling about this. We're starting a film at the end of the month. Two weeks to go, we're filming in Tennessee. It's a feature film and it's something really new and different. I'd say probably the best way to describe it is Ichi the Killer meets Xanadu. Whilst I'm not familiar with the films that he's compared this to, here's some information from IMDB which could give us an idea of what kind of film Wyatt is taking part in. First, here is the description of Ichi the Killer, which is a Japanese action horror movie. As sadomasochistic Yakuza enforcer Kakihara searches for his missing boss, he comes across Ishii, a repressed and psychotic killer who may be able to inflict levels of pain that Kakihara has only dreamed of achieving. The second movie Wyatt's project is compared to is Xanadu, I think that's how you pronounce it, and there seems to be a number of films with the same title. The first is a 1980s American musical fantasy film, which has been dubbed as a disaster or a misunderstood masterpiece, depending on who you ask. There is another film of the same name, which is a comedy about a writer who becomes trapped in his own novel, which is much more recent, having been released in 2013, and I think that's most likely what he's talking about. Perhaps Wyatt could be set to play a role of a horror novel writer who ends up in the world he creates. Maybe this is a metaphor for the real life Wyndham creating the Fiend character which ultimately led to his downfall thanks to WWE. With that said though, will you be checking out Wyndham's upcoming horror flick? Let me know in the comments down below. And before you go, make sure you check out my video where I discuss 10 UFC fighters that are perfect for WWE or AEW.